My name is Houston, and today I'm going to show you Lesson 1 of Saxon Math 5-4. This is a really easy lesson. It's just called Review of Addition, and it's really quick. So I'm just going to show you a few facts and things, and then I'm going to walk you through the practice. So when we add, we combine two groups into one group. The numbers that are added are called add-ins, and the answer is called the sum. So if we show 4 plus 3, that would equal 7. Um, so this would be add-in. Add-ins, and this would be the sum. If the order of add-ins is changed, so if 4 and 3 are switched to 3 plus 4, the answer would still be the same. So 3 plus 4 is 7, and 4 plus 3 is 7. Only two numbers can be added at one time. To add three numbers, like 4 plus 3 plus 5 equals, um, well, what is that? 4 plus 3 plus 5 would equal 12. Now to do this, you would have to do 4 plus 3 first, and then plus 5. So 4 plus 3 plus 5 equals 12. Um, 4 plus 3 equals 7, plus 5 equals 12. That's what you would have to do. Next, let's go on. When we add 0 to a number, the number is not changed. So if I add 4 plus 0, that would equal 4. 4 plus 3 plus 0, what is that? 7. Because 4 plus 3 equals 7, plus 0 is 7. Next, we move on to n. Well, missing numbers. So some of the addition problems in this book will have an add-in missing. We can use any letter to represent the missing add-in or number. In this lesson, we will use n to represent the missing add-in. When an add-in is missing and the sum is given, the problem is to find the missing add-in. So let's say 4 plus n equals in this case, we would use 7 minus 4 equals 3. Let's see. Let's go on to 4 plus 3 plus n plus 2. So, 4 plus 3 plus n plus equals 14. Yeah. 14. Hope you can see that there. Probably not. Anyway, 4 plus 3 plus 2, that's how you do it. 4 plus 3 plus 2 equals 7 plus 2, 9. And then you would go 14 minus 9. So the answer would be 5. Because 9 plus 5 equals 14, which is also 14 minus 9. And now that you know how to do N, let's move on to the practice. Okay, this says add or find the missing add-in. So for practice sets, it goes 
by letters. So A is the first problem, B is the second problem, and C is the third problem. So A is 4 plus 3. Now this is easy because we already know it, but what is it? That's right, this is 7. B is 5 plus N equals 13. Now we would get 13 minus 5, or 5 plus whatever equals 13. In this case, the answer is... Eight, because five plus six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Eight. So now C. Problem C. is 9 plus n plus 7 equals 16. So 9 plus n plus 7 equals 16. So in this case it would be 9 plus 7. What is that? 16. So 16 is the answer. Therefore this must be Zero. Correct. Zero. Right. Anyway, that is the whole practice set of this. And the practice set is really small, but um, it gets larger during the book, or during the lessons in this book. Um, there's 27 problems in the lesson. They're all super easy, just problems with N and them. And that's pretty much all. So thanks for watching. I hope you had or learned a lot or just reviewed edition. And I hope you watch more videos and like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.